What's up, people? I'm back. Did you miss me? Because I missed you. And I have an amazing recipe for you today. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very special high protein cheesecake. It's thick, smooth, delicious. Let's get started. In this recipe, each slice equals 183 calories, 5.3 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, and 20 grams of carbs. So actually, the first thing that you want to do is to create the raspberry coulis. In a small pan, you're going to combine 200 grams of raspberries. I'm using frozen, but you can use fresh because they always taste better. Two tablespoons of sugar or a sweetener of your choice and a quarter cup or 45 grams of water. Keep the raspberries on a low simmer for about six to eight minutes. And because I don't like the seeds, we're going to sift that thing. Press the juice through the sieve and stick it in the fridge until you're ready for it. And the last thing you need to prep is the gelatin. In a small bowl, add one packet or seven grams of unflavored gelatin, plus two tablespoons of water. Mix it thoroughly and set aside. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff. First up, I have some Biscoff cookies here. You can use whatever cookies you want. You can even use like almond flour and a little bit of maple syrup, a pinch of salt, and a little bit of coconut oil just to combine everything together. You can go that route. You can even use dates and nuts. Whatever you want, use that as your base. So I'm just gonna put them in my little mini food processor here. So this is one pack, about 126 grams. Now I'm just gonna blitz this. All right, so once you've got everything all crushed up, you're gonna add in two tablespoons of coconut oil. I've got my seven inch round pan here. So this is a springform pan. You don't have to use a springform if you don't have one, but this just makes it easier for a quick removal. And I'm just going to dump this straight in. All right, I'm gonna use a measuring cup here just to pat it down. Finally, I'm just wiping down the sides just to make sure that there are no bits of crust on the sides so that you have a nice clean layer on top of the crust. All right, so that's gonna go into the fridge until we're ready for it. So let's move on to the filling. Not only is the filling super fast, it's also super easy. And we're gonna start with one block or 250 grams of low fat cream cheese. To that, we're gonna add in one cup or 250 grams of plain Greek yogurt. Next, we've got 75 grams of honey. This is the good stuff. Last two ingredients, about five scoops or 155 grams of vanilla protein powder. And finally, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's mix. You're gonna need to scrape down the sides just to get the rest of the uh, protein powder that did not mix. So make sure you get it all in and keep going until you have a beautifully smooth, silky looking batter. All right, so remember the gelatin that I had you bloom a little while ago? This is going to go into the microwave for about 10 seconds. And we're just going to pour that right on top of the mixture. I've got my crust out of the fridge. Let's pour it right over the crust. Oh, that's so nice. And this only took like a minute to make sure everything was blended and mixed up and looking gorgeous. So it takes no time at all. But remember, it's gotta be totally 100% smooth, like butter. All right, so this has to go into the fridge for about an hour before we add the top layer, and then we're good to go. All right, so here we are at the final part, the top layer of our cheesecake. We've got our raspberry coulis, some water, and we have some more gelatin. So all we're going to do is combine these. We've got 75 milliliters of the raspberry coulis. 75 milliliters of the water and one pack or seven grams of our um, gelatin. We're just gonna quickly mix this up and then I'm gonna pull out the cheesecake and pour it on top. And that's it. This is gonna go back into the fridge for an additional two to three hours. And if you can overnight, that's even better. So I'll see you when it's ready.
Just wait till you give this cheesecake a go. I think it'll even surprise you. And hey, while you're feeling shocked and amazed, why not leave a comment down below? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.